Globliner, Ask the Machine, TigerFitness.com. Let's go. This comes from Eric. Is there such thing as overtraining legs? After doing numerous sets of deep squats, leg press, deadlifts, leg extension, hamstring curl, lunges, etc., I will just begin to tear myself down if I went any further. I've heard bodybuilders pushing cars and doing lunges against across the parking lot on leg day. What is your opinion on how leg day should be done? It depends on the person. I know Kurt Widener, a natural pro, I'm not going to say, look, Ronnie Coleman, Jake Cutler, they can train pretty hard. Um, there are a lot of assistance supplements, um, creatine and stuff, a little beyond that, and professional bodybuilders where they can recover more and take a beating. They're also eating a ton of calories that your body probably can't do, and they've been training for years and years and years building up tolerance. So my opinion is, uh, generally speaking, the study sh studies show over an hour testosterone starts to decrease, cortisol increases. I think that's bullshit. Um, what, what kind of training are you doing? Are you training like Dorian? If you're training like Dorian, no, don't go over an hour. But if you're training like a normal pussy where you go to the gym and you do three sets of 10 reps and they're pretty easy and you talk to your friends between sets, you can probably train for eight hours and not get overtrained. It just depends on the person, your recovery ability, if you start to feel signs of overtraining. And there does come a point where, as Lee Haney said, stimulate, don't annihilate, where you don't want to overdo things. So my opinion is hit it, get it, kill it, overload it, and go home. Um, I can design a program for you. There are programs available at MachineMuscle.com. MachineMuscle.com. This is Mark Lobliner, TigerFitness.com. Ask the Machine. Peace out.